So what I'm getting clearly is your person is spying on your social media. We have social media spying on you, communicating online in some cases, Maybe there's direct communication, maybe there's indirect, like they're sharing songs or posts or photos for you to see, whatever it may be, catfishing, stalking, obsession. Um, and coupled with this three of pentacles, they are looking at your photos, I feel. They're, they're thinking about you constantly, they're absolutely in love with you, like fantasizing about you every day thinking about you every day um they just want to get closer to you okay that it's like they remember past lives when they look at your face when they look at your eyes specifically they're experiencing a very deeply psychic telepathic experience when they look at your photos but when they see you in real life as well they feel deeply recognized by you okay I'm hearing from spirit. This person knew that you had the capability to deeply love them because they remember you from past lives, but they may, something you've shared on social media or your, or your overall vibe or the overall picture that your social media shows about you as a person and your character, this person, they knew that you would be able to profoundly love them. They see you as very loving, nurturing, kind, mature. And they, they are this king of cups. I love you with all of my heart and soul. So you've shared many past lives together. They remember this, okay? This could be why they looked you up initially on social media. That deep soul recognition that floored them is what I'm hearing from spirit. Because they may not have been expecting to meet you. In many cases, they were not expecting to meet you. They could have met you at work with this three of pentacles. They want to work together as a team. They, there's so much affinity between you both. And they really, really feel this. They want to give you their heart. So let's dive deeper into this. How are they truly feeling? Ten of Swords and the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is about imagination. Sometimes they definitely think worst case scenarios with the Ten of Swords, okay? This could also be why they are spying on your social media sometimes. Like keeping tabs on you, like... Seeing what's going on, they're, they're fearful of rejection or abandonment or you, the ending of this connection or you leaving them behind. But you, the thing is, you feel the, the exact same love that they feel for you. You remember their soul immensely. It's like with this timer here as well, it's like it's making me think of boredom, like time is moving slowly, so... They're thinking about you. They they want to get closer to you. They feel happy when they're thinking of you. But yeah, imagination. This is fantasizing. But you you make them feel so happy, okay? With her smelling the blossom here. Um, not sure what birds these are. I'm just going to say doves, even though I don't think they are. <laughs> like they feel peaceful. There's abundance. They're blooming. They're bo blossoming. Like. They they feel wonderful, they feel happy, they, they could be in a lot of darkness in their day to day life or a lot of struggles or before they met you they were going through the dark night of the soul or they were going through immense struggles, immense pain and then you came in and suddenly they are thinking really positive, happy, exciting thoughts about love. And from the things that you posted, like I said, they, they knew that you would be able to love them fully and that they would be able to love you fully, like they completely fell in love with you. And this is like that giddy feeling of them falling in love again and so happy. And I do feel like this is like light in their life to help them out of a lot of darkness, but it's more than that. It's more than escapism. This is true love here. They love you with their complete heart and soul yeah they fear loss five of cups this is the um 
dark darkness they were going through, some sort of shadow, some sort of karma, some sort of immense fears, whatever it may be. It was a rebirth though. It was like the darkest night before the brightest dawn when they met you, the light in their life. Normally this only shows three cups spilt over and there's two cups still standing up, right? Which is your amazing bond, your two hearts, two cups. Um, they fear loss, they fear. So their, their heart is healing, okay? Four of Swords is after that heartbreak card of the Three of Swords. So, yeah, that you and this connection is really helping to heal their heart, changing their whole life, their whole perspective from so much darkness into so much light and joy, excited anticipation, because they know that this connection is destined. They know that so much more is unfolding between you both. So they're soaking this all in. This is a rejuvenation card, but a time of needing rest. They're, they're soaking all of this love in. This is an immensely awakening experience as well. This is the time needed to um, integrate everything. This is why we have the time here as well. That's like divine timing. They, they find you so attractive. I'm hearing from spirit with this queen of wands like... You are you have this contagious energy of positivity or confidence. They really look up to you. They see you as this powerful manifester. They see that you've been through so many challenges and struggles yourself, but you are still optimistic. You are still that bright shining light. You're an alchemist. You create so much abundance and positivity out of very challenging situations. They want to race in, okay? They they want to protect you. I will see this Knight of Swords as this protective energy um, where they want to speak their truth. They want to defend you. You make them feel like the divine masculine. This is a rapid moving energy as well. You make them feel alive. Ten of Swords is normally them laying on the ground, dead with ten swords in their back. They could have been through immense betrayal. Or of any kind, it could have been from a, a person that could have um, started to awaken to all of the betrayal in this world where, you know, those that are trying to control the masses are pulling, trying to pull the wall over everyone's eyes. So that kind of betrayal. But you fill them with energy, excitement, um, courage, um confidence they feel more like their true self telepathy i'm telling you they have this telepathic experience when they look at your photos when they look at your social media posts but especially when they see you in real life this is another worldly experience to them. They hadn't. They, they were like swept up by this love, by this soul memory, and I feel like this is why they looked you up on social media. Multi-dimensional connection, feeling each other's emotions, mind reading, connected beyond space and time, pure communication of your souls. This person, they're longing to communicate to you. If there's some sort of obstacles in the 3D to do a communication, it is designed to make you really connect and communicate on the true levels of your souls because this is a temporary human experience. But nonetheless, they're missing you, yearning for you. They were struck by the telepathy between you both. They were struck by looking at you and thinking that you are so much like them. Basically seeing themselves in you and you seeing yourself in them. This is the shared soul. The shared energy yeah look they want to leap towards you like this knight of swords taking a leap of faith trusting the divine trusting their intuition taking action against all odds courage going for it they've been through a lot of trauma though there is this need for them to rebuild themselves especially their confidence especially to do of healing after a ten of swords and clarified by this four of swords here healing of the heart after some sort of loss. I'm telling you, for some of you, this was them that they woke up. 
to what's going on in the world, the, the deception um, that has been going on our whole lives, basically. And this could have definitely been, for many, the, the very dark place they found themselves in. And then you came in as this bright, shining light, the love of their life, to help each other both through this, these realisations, this awakening, ascending beyond this false matrix. Yeah, I'm telling you, they've been through a lot of heartbreak in the past. The Three of Swords would have come before this Four of Swords. Intense sadness. They're grieving. Yeah, loss. There was a loss of something. Like I said, for some, it was a loss of their old perception of reality and realising that we've all been in a bubble. <laughs> and that's very difficult to awaken to. Or it could have been any kind of loss that your person went through. It could have been a literal death of someone they went through for someone here. Um, separation, regrets, betrayal, crying, mourning. I'm telling you they've been through some sort of betrayal in their past. This is why it's not so easy for them to just leap forwards. But they're a very courageous soul because nonetheless they are healing immensely and they are taking risks. They are opening their heart to you because they know that you are love of their life. Like they remember you so profoundly. Romantic. You've brought this person alive because this is the kind of love they dreamed of. But it's way beyond their wildest dreams. It's such a holy, sacred, awakening love. It's mind-blowing. They have deep romantic feelings for you. This is bringing out like their true romantic nature, I feel, especially with the King of Cups as well. They may have felt repressed, like they had no one who they could fully give their heart to, to the degree that they wanted to. They want to dive in, you know, they want to race in, they want to be the romantic person, they want to... This person's had fantasies with this Page of Cups, fantasies of, like, epic love. And again, this is beyond those wildest dreams that they could have ever imagined in the past because it is this holy, divine love. love potion there's so much chemistry here look this was their romantic nature their chemistry their love their desire for something epic it was it was bottled up within them but love potion there's so much chemistry they want to manifest so much more they feel like they're in this this trance but it's it's real it's like the soul um the universe calling you both back home, calling you beyond the veil with such a divine love. So much more is manifesting. They felt like they they were swept off their feet. You've both felt this way, okay? Love potion, it's an intoxicating love. But in a, a holy, divine way, you feel like home to them. They remembered home beyond the this dimension they remembered that there's so much more than just this um temporary human experience they remember that they feel at home with you this really caught them off guard when they first met you like they weren't expecting to meet you even though your souls agreed and were waiting and for searching for each other even if you were in other situations it's like deep down the soul was still searching What do they need you to know? Yeah, I'm so happy. You're their dream come true. They want so much more to manifest. They love you with their whole heart and soul. This is the sun card, the most positive card in the deck. You are the light in their life. The light when they were in so much darkness. This is the new dawn, the new beginning. After the, the darkest night of some sort of betrayal, some sort of ending they went through that was extremely painful. We have, this is my truth. They're saying, you are my truth. Like, they're remembering the truth of who they are, their infinite soul. And it's mind-blowing. And they want to speak their truth, knight of swords and king of swords. They want to speak their truth to you. They want to live their truth with you. 
And how do we make positive change? The wheel of fortune or the wheel of karma, how they're like thinking about this all of the time. How do we take this risk? How do we leap off of the wheel? How do we leap off this wheel of or cycle of reincarnation? And um, this person could be studying a lot about um, true reality, um, reincarnation, you know. How do we make positive change? They're, they're really invested in healing and helping each other, being supportive, working together as a team, that three of pentacles we started off with, and manifesting, creating more together. So if this reading has resonated with you, please let me know in the comments. Give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe. That will really helps me out with the algorithm. Thank you so much for joining me here. Take care. Bye.